Uh, we had some good things to build off of uh, last year. Uh, you know, of course, depth wasn't one of them. Right now, we're just trying to figure out, you know, what pieces plug in the, uh, to which spot, and, and uh, they're starting to come around. And so it's, you know, we've got some exciting times ahead, but it, it'll be uh, ever, ever changing all the way up until we get probably to conference play. My arm feels good. I'm just excited to be out here. I mean, nobody has a job out here. I have to compete just like anyone else, just as, as a freshman coming out of high school. I mean, nobody has a position. They can take it. JR brings uh, a lot of confidence back, you know. Uh, he's a guy that has, you know, uh, a certain skill set that he gets the most out of on a daily basis. He's a guy that really pitches and understands how to pitch. He's not going to blow you away with his stuff, um, but at the same time, uh, you know, he, he brings a presence that I like to have our young pitchers uh, see on an everyday basis, how he goes about his business um, and how we, uh, he approaches, uh, you know, his task at hand. So um, our starting pitching, you know, Casey Kalina, junior college transfer. We have Josh Baker, um, a junior, big physical left-handed pitcher who got a lot of innings last year, who's going to probably be in that number two spot of J.R opens up on Friday. And then our number three spot, uh, right now we got a battle between uh, Jeff Tanner and uh, a young freshman, uh, Michael Bauman from Minnesota. And, uh, you know, Michael's been very impressive. Uh, comes from the same area, you know, that Chris Anderson, former first round draft pick here, uh, comes from. Uh, he's 6'5", 240. Uh, he's a kid that throws you know, 90, 94 miles an hour, and, and uh, you know, it was really not pitched a heck of a lot. Our outfield, uh, we definitely have some depth, and uh, knock on wood, you know, that, uh, you know, everybody stays healthy. And, and uh, you know, in left field, you have Dylan Dillard, who uh, has been through the wars here. Uh, but we also, you know, can interchange Connor Maribel, who, who might be one of our best outfielders out in left field, and, and maybe give a, one of our young pups a chance to, uh, to play first base just depending on their development. Uh, center field, yeah, you have a log jam out there. You have Parker Perez right now that's playing his tail off. Uh, is also a, a factor for us out of the bullpen from the left side. You have Cameron Gibson, who's now finally healthy since he's been here. Uh, and he's really come on in the last few weeks. Uh, and then you have uh, Nate Kozlowski. And uh, Koz, you know, I, I stumble remembering his name is because he hasn't been healthy for the last couple of years. So, uh, you know, it's, I always kid him, and, you know, who's the new kid out here? And, and then in right field, you know, you have uh, Austin Hayes, who has probably one of the best arms in the conference. You can put uh, Michael Babb out there also, who can interchange from center to right. Uh, you have Nate Ritchie, uh, who's a returner, uh, you know, and Nate will be counted on, you know, probably off the bench, you know. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how it all pans out. Oh, at the top of the order, uh, you have probably Parker Perez right now. It could be Angelo in that leadoff spot, but Parker has done a, a great job, you know, from the left side, and he runs, and he's just a spark plug, a lot like Angelo. Uh, so, you know, you could go Parker in that one spot and Angie in the two spot. Um, of course, Connor Maribel, who, who should be a, a decent draft pick this year in the three hole, and then you got Austin Hayes, you know, in, in a in the cleanup spot who has uh, really, really uh, solid uh, power uh, to all fields. And then in that five hole, you have uh, one of our newcomers, J.J. Gold, uh, who's gonna either going to play short or second. And that's the one thing that we have this year is with Angelo and J.J., they can flip-flop from second to short and short to second. Uh, and uh, they don't have a problem with it. And the six hole, you probably have Dylan Dillard. Uh, and then you piece everything together on the back side of that. Uh, but it's, it gives us, you know, I think one through five right now, you know, you, you feel pretty good about what you have. But of course, you know, it's early and it's on paper. And, you know, I've been doing this, you know, 28 years. So I understand the, the difference between, uh, you know, what's on paper and what really actually happens out on that field. But uh, it's it's a good uh, it's a good feeling to have, and we'll just see how those young men uh, you know progress during the course of the year. In the catching role, I, you know it's nice. That you talk about some of the guys who've been out with injuries. You know uh, we lost Drew Luther, uh, and Drew's finally healthy. Uh, he's going to be uh, you know our starting catcher, and and he's interchangeable at third base also. Senior Garrett Ruckel, who's really improved his skill set. 
Uh, and then you have freshman uh, C Casey Cribb, uh, who, who's going to be competing for some playing time. So it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of competition behind the plate. Uh, one of the benefits of playing in uh, in Florida, you know, you have great weather, uh, and everybody wants to come to Florida, especially a lot of those northern schools. Well, it's a great advantage. I mean, having people come. I mean, you got your family members to come watch the play. Hopefully, we can have the students come out and support us. I mean, it's just a great advantage to have because we got the fans behind us and everything, and we're playing at our home field, so we know everything about the field. Well, the one thing about this group, and I tell them on a daily basis, you know, if, if nobody cares who gets the credit, uh, then we got a chance for them to embrace their roles, and that's going to be the key to this season. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about my coaching staff, uh, my lead assistant, Chris Hayes, my recruiting coordinator, Chuck DeRolman. Uh, my volunteer assistant who helps me with not only the catching but with the pitching, Alex Swenson. Uh, they've all done a phenomenal job and, uh, you know, like I said, we look forward to seeing everybody at the ballpark this year. And, and